fantastic performance. Actually, what was that persona just now? There was something different about it. I'm not sure. But when I thought I wanted to convey my feelings to those shadows, my persona responded from within me. <sighs> Way to go, Senpai! And that's why you're our leader. Only you can pull off something that amazing. <laughs> Come on. I... Nato-kun, we did it! Senpai gave him a super sweet show! I sensed it as well. That's what allowed me to return to my right mind. You sensed it? But you got caught by that ribbony thing and... Yes. Because of that, I learned something about those shadows. Really? What did you find out? When caught in that ribbon, it's as if you're forced to be the you that others desire, rather than how you perceive yourself made to believe you want to be tied to the other shadows with that ribbon even if it means discarding who you truly are the most dreadful thing is that i myself felt sure that it was what i needed to do that's crazy you're no one else but you now tokun In hindsight, I can see how bizarre the assumption was. So my theory is that the ribbon has the power to induce those beliefs. Yeah, I sensed it too. While I was dancing, I felt like I couldn't let my guard down at all. But the sh that song and the shadows dance probably have a similar power. So what I did was concentrate on getting my message across as I danced. You said something like that earlier, too. What did you want to tell them? I just did what you said, Rise. Dancing is about expressing yourself and your feelings to the people watching you. So I danced to show the shadows who I am, not what they wanted to see. Huh. And as a result, I remembered who I am. It's ironic that the key to this confrontation was the true self I once tried so hard to deny. One shouldn't abandon oneself just because they've been connected to others. I feel that those shadows were released from the ribbon's binding because they sensed that as well. Um, Rise-san, you didn't get that sense from watching him dance? Uh, of course I did. I could tell his dancing was different from usual. I just couldn't put it into words because of all that persona stuff that happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you got the message loud and clear, Rise. The shadow's presence is fading. What's going on? It's like they're returning somewhere. Returning? To where? I don't know. But that's the feeling I get. With that weird ribbony thing gone, it seems they all disappeared from this world. Maybe they realized something wasn't right, like you did, Nato-kun. Yeah, let's hope so. Still, what could those shadows have been? didn't seem quite like the shadows we knew. You don't like this stage? After all the trouble I went through to prepare it? You again? I've had enough of this! Is your idea of eternal bonds tying up the shadows with that thing? You've got one twisted mind! That's right. If this is a connection you speak of, then it's much too one-sided. <laughs> What's so funny? It's okay. It felt what 
what you think, and I certainly won't force you to stay here. But don't get so cocky just because you set those back. Our bonds are eternal. They're Hugh, are you gonna bring someone else in here? <laughs> Sorry, but you've already stepped off the stage. The next performances will be beginning soon. Did you... To mommy? You don't mean... The members of Kahnamine Kitchen. Did you kidnap them? <laughs> Why do you care? It has nothing to do with you. I'll try scanning the area. Come, Persona! There are some places where shadows are bunched up. One, two, four total? <gasps> I found someone! Is this... Tomoe? <laughs> No playing around in the venue. It's all... this? Ow! Jeez! Is this how you treat an idol? Looks like we're back in the studio. Well, so as soon as we reject the bond that boy spoke of, you're promptly asked to leave. At least we're all back safe. I was honestly bracing myself for the worst. <gasps> but wait! That reading I got a second ago! It was definitely Tomoe's. I'm certain that's who I picked up on. The same Tomoe-san we met earlier? I'm pretty sure, yeah. the other girls. Kanamine Kitchen is Konami-san and four other members, right? I don't know. That place was a lot bigger than I thought. The only reading I picked up on in the moment I had was Tomoe's. Given what we heard from Konami-san, it's safe to assume the rest of Kanamine Kitchen disappeared around the same time. If you detected Tomoe-san's reading over there, the others are likely to have been taken as well. Yeah, Naoto's right. Rumored video clip that plays at midnight, victims who have fallen unconscious, and now a group of missing idols. This does seem to demand an investigation. First things first, though. What was that world we were in? The name Midnight Stage bothers me. There were shadows there, too. It seemed kind of like the TV world we used to go into. And then there's that voice has to belong to the root of this trouble. You don't really think it's that, um, deceased idol behind this, do you? That's beyond my knowledge. Let's put that possibility aside for now. Yeah, that's not what we need to focus on right now. to that, Risei? I'm a bit shocked, in fact. Did you think we'd shrug it off as none of our concern? 
There are already victims, making this an honest-to-goodness case. And we're the only ones who can solve it. <sighs> yeah! Now that that's decided, we need a plan. Yosuke and the others will be here in the morning. I'm sure they'll help us out too. Let's go over the case once they join us. For now though, I think we should leave. We need our rest after all. Right. Things are gonna get busy, so we should rest while we can. Got it! I'll go ahead and email everyone about the situation. Oh! We shouldn't drag Konami into this, huh? I feel bad, but I won't tell her anything. Yeah, I agree. It's for her own safety. Okay, so I'll just contact our gang. Well then, you two ready to go home? Yeah. Very much so. <laughs> that is how their festival began. What do you think? Fate is truly full of surprises, no? They faced themselves and gained the power to stand up against difficulties. But their next trial was quite different, rather than a contest of strength. It required them to openly express themselves and convey their feelings. However, this did not deter him. And as if in response to that firmness of will, his power changed its form, adapting perfectly to the new situation. <laughs> Fascinating, don't you think? By the way, have you thought about why you have found yourself here? <laughs> don't worry yourself over it. I don't have that answer for you. I asked only out of my own curiosity. Well then, Allow me to show you a little more of the story. Here is where we left off with their festival. Makes no sense when you're not in the costume, man. Oh, man. It's so nice and cool inside the office. I feel like a human being again. I'm glad you're all here. celebrities yet? Are they cute? Tell me everything! Ah, <sighs> there's always someone like him. Come on, Yosuke-senpai, you were just here the other day to film the commercial. Yeah, but I was too nervous then to think about any of that stuff. big city and not some dreary country town and I get to hang out with celebrities it's like a dream come true well excuse us for living in such a dreary place is that what you think of Inaba Yosuke-kun <laughs> did you forget that 
famous celebrity too, and a pretty famous one at that. Yosuke Senpai's been like this the whole trip over here. He's memorized every damn thing about that Kanamine chicken or whatever. He kept blabbering on and on about the girls nonstop. He even knows their full names. Dude, what? You're bringing that up now? You're the worst. Seriously, the worst. Just completely terrible. Yosuke, you're awful. I just got here and I'm already catching hell. And Teddy, what are you taking their side for? Looks like the dream is dead. Mostly thanks to you. Huh. Anyway. That aside, I had a message for you. Dojima-san and Nanako-chan are gonna be running a little late. Sounded like he's been busy with work. Ah, that's too bad. Come on, cheer up, partner. Just have a little patience, and Nanako-chan will be here in no time. Man, that was one hell of a long trip. I've been sitting down so long, my butt's sore. We really should have taken the express train, but Yosuke had to insist we ride a bus instead. Dude, you guys are the ones who said you were low on cash. There's no way I could have paid for all your tickets. I have to say, you three aren't looking very well. Are you okay? Did you sleep badly? happened last night after all you mean that midnight stage stuff i got most of the story from Reese's email though it was so out of nowhere that i had to ask a ton of follow-up questions i read it too those girls are being held captive right risa chan yeah i'm sorry you guys came all the way out here and i have to ruin it with bad news hey no need to apologize risa chan never fear all the dance practice I've gotten in lately has been a good workout for me. And I've never missed a day of regular training either. What the? I'm ready for anything. Count me in too. Look, look, behold the results of my training with Risei chan One, two, bam. has nothing to do with fighting shadows. Eh, you never know. I mean, it's gonna be our dancing that beats him this time around, right? Oh, right, yeah. Man, why dancing of all things? We're not sure how that really works. In fact, there are many things that we don't understand as of yet. All we know is that our power won't defeat these shadows. Instead, we've discovered that we can free them by affecting them with our dance. They're trying to capture us with their dancing too, right? Then it sounds to me like we ought to fight fire with fire! Mm-hmm. Expressing ourselves through dance. It sounds ex- You guys, this isn't all fun and games. Thanks, everyone. It's time the investigation team got back in action. <laughs> I can't remember how many times that's happened by now. Well, call it fate or whatever. But if you ask me, that's just how we are. If we can save people, I'm all for it. I think it's definitely better than doing nothing. My magnificent moves will save all the innocent idols. And one of them will fall madly in love with me, despite it being forbidden in the world of showbiz. Like that it happened. Man, I really can't take you anywhere. Wait a sec. What if Teddy's got a point? What if he's not entirely wrong this time? Is there even the slimmest of slim chances that it could happen for me? Never, as long as you're thinking like that. Ah, 
Ah, you're all here. I hope your long trip was a smooth one. Oh, hey, Inoue-san. I hope I wasn't interrupting anything. Want to try and get some information out of him? Huh? Wow, you're all in costume. <laughs> yeah, the show's still a ways off, but you seem so fired up already. Uh, well, we were thinking we should do a full group dress rehearsal, but we didn't know if there was any place to change, so we just wore our costumes. <laughs> I see. But, you know, there are plenty of changing rooms available here. Goodness, Kanji-kun, your hair certainly stands out. It really packs a punch. Huh? You think so? I guess I'm used to it. I mean, I had it like this for the longest time. Oh, but this festival's the last time I'm gonna wear this punk getup, though. I made up my mind to stop acting like a badass and be more like who I really am. Ah, I see. <laughs> that sounds like a fine idea. I must say, those costumes look splendid on all of you. I guess that sort of natural high schooler look can't be faked. People respond well to that sort of thing. The outfits seem to fit well, too. I'm glad we went to the trouble to have them custom tailored. By the way, can I ask you something, you know, Aesan? What is it? I'll try and answer if I can. Well, it's about the Love Meets Bonds Festival. Um, kind of mean kid. That's the plan. What about it? Oh, it's nothing important. I'm a huge fan of theirs, so I was just wondering if I could, um, say hi to them. <laughs> That's all. Ah, I see. Unfortunately, they're all pretty busy right now. Huh? Really? That's weird. I mean, most of the group is in the mid- Oh, ignore him. Just carry on. I mean, of course they're busy. <laughs> I'm sorry I even asked. He'll be fine. Man, what a shame, though. <laughs> oh, but Konami-chan is in the midst of a poster photo shoot in the studio here. Why don't you go see her later? Risei-chan can show you the way. She'll probably sign an autograph. An autograph? Seriously? I mean, uh, uh that'd be great. Uh, then I guess we'll go... Stop by later. <laughs> you must be tired from the long trip, though, so get some rest first. Well, I have a meeting to attend, so you'll have to excuse me. Okay, see you later, Inoue-san. Teddy, what were you thinking letting that slip? I'm deeply sorry. I'm very sorry. Well, at least it's clear now. Now I was acting, those Konamine girls ain't come back yet. Mm hmm. There's no doubt about it. It must have been Tomoe-san herself that Risei-chan picked up on. There's no doubt. It was brief, but that couldn't have been anyone else. I'm positive. 
positive that reading was Tomoe's. It's decided then. Let's all watch that video at midnight tonight. And we'll head into the midnight stage once more. What? Did I say something odd? Naoto, every now and then you say some pretty nutso stuff like it's no big deal. I didn't think too much about how we were going in there, but that sounds pretty scary. <laughs> There's no other way. We don't know any other means of getting in. In any case, time is of the essence. Come on, let's hurry to the studio. That reminds me. We didn't get too many chances to all rehearse together. There's probably a lot we can learn from each other. So let's get as much practice as time permits. <laughs> <laughs> 